What's going on guys? Shane here with my good friend Vince the Anomaly. What's up guys? Today Vince is going to show you a submission chain. How to hit guillotines and darce chokes from the front headlock position. Let's take a look. Alright, so today we're going to be working from the front headlock position. It's a very common position. You'll find it a lot whether you're grappling, doing jiu jitsu, wrestling obviously, and MMA too. So let's go ahead and detail that position first. Again, before we start to work any submissions or anything, we got to make sure our position is secure. So in this front headlock, I like to make sure that I have this control right underneath Shane's chin. I've got my shoulder right above his neck here and I'm up on my feet. So notice Shane is holding my weight when I'm pushing in here. If I'm up high on Shane's back, it's a lot easier for him to sit up and sit out. Exactly, super easy. However, if I've got my shoulder right on top of his neck area, on the top of his spine, and I'm pressing in, it's a lot harder and a lot easier for me to control. I'm up on my feet, I'm also controlling Shane's tricep on the opposite side. Once I feel like I've got this position secure, now I'm gonna start working my chokes. The first one's gonna be the Darce choke. I've got Shane locked in, I'm gonna give a little tug on this elbow here, and as I do, I'm gonna shoot and drop down to my side. Notice, as I drop down to my side here, I'm bringing my thumb right above to the back of his neck. Okay, at the same time, this opposite arm is coming across and I'm grabbing my own bicep, almost exactly like a rear naked choke. Once I feel like I've got that locked in, I'm just gonna walk, walk, walk. Shane's gonna drop to his side, I'm gonna keep walking, compressing. I can trap the leg over here and squeeze. I'll get my tap. So the reason why this choke works is Shane's carotid arteries, okay, the stuff that's carrying oxygen to the brain, are both gonna be cut off, okay? My arm on this side is chopping off this side of his neck, and his own shoulder is chopping the other side. So we gotta make sure, in order to actually sink this Darce choke in, we're really compressing both sides of Shane's neck, and getting really tight. We don't wanna be over here yanking, cranking on his neck. We wanna make sure we're cutting off all that oxygen in. So let's do it one more time. I'm controlling Shane's chin and his tricep. Now, in order to get my arm all the way through, I'm gonna need to drop to the side. As I do that, I keep Shane's head down so he can't posture up and get out of this, and so he can't posture up and bring his arm over, which again will help him get out of this choke. So as I drop, I'm covering his head, shooting my arm through. What I like to do is keep my thumb right above his neck there, and that makes sure that the, the blade of my forearm cuts off the carotid artery on the far side. Now, I walk my arm up and through, connect to my bicep. You can also grab around to the backside lat and just walk, walk, walk as we compress, make this choke tighter and get our tap. Next, we're gonna be working the arm and guillotine from that same exact position here. So I've got Shane in the front headlock. I'm controlling, controlling the elbow. Now, what I want to do is create a little space here to throw my knee into, okay? So I'm going to pull Shane's tricep out just a little bit. And as I do, I'm connecting my hands like I'm making a guillotine grip. Reach around the fist and grab the back side of your palm. Okay, so as I do that, I'm making my grip. I'm walking around and I'm throwing this knee in underneath Shane's body, okay? Notice my foot and my shin is across Shane's hip and my other leg is coming over the top. If I don't do this, it's gonna be easy for Shane to just hop around over my legs and get out of this guillotine. You definitely can't let that happen. So I wanna be covering with this top leg. And now once I have him locked in here, I'm gonna squeeze for the finish. Again, I'm not yanking backwards. I'm making everything tight. So I'm compressing his neck in and squeezing. Now for our last position here, let's say I start pulling on this tricep and Shane really doesn't want to open up this space for me. So he pulls his tricep in to hide this space so I can't throw my knee in. Ah, now where are we? Perfect spot for a guillotine. Again, I'm still controlling underneath his chin. Shane's neck is wide open here. So instead of trying to shoot my arm in guillotine, I'm just popping my hand through and I'm gonna grab again the back of the palm here and now I'm gonna finish this guillotine by coming over the top, just a regular straight guillotine. Couple different options. If he's really low here in this turtle position, I can just start lifting and I'll probably get a tap there. It's really uncomfortable to have the blade of your forearm there 
chopping on your windpipe, you're, you're gonna get a pretty fast tap from that one. That didn't feel nice. <laughs> exactly. So you can either finish there, or maybe this guy's being real stubborn. I can drop in, again, for a regular guillotine. This time, the arm isn't trapped, but I can just finish by pulling up and sinking my body in tight to the choke. Now, I prefer to actually go for the first two submissions we worked on. So we're gonna go for the Dars and the arm and guillotine. The reason why is we can keep our opponent locked into that position the entire time. So let's say I try to hit a Dars, I can't finish it. I still have Shane's arm trapped to the point where I can walk my body around, keep him in the front headlock, and then start working the arm and guillotine. If that doesn't work, I walk my body around and start working the Dars again. So it looks something like this. Got him in the front headlock. I start to shoot the stars. Let's say I can't get him over, I can't get the, the choke inside enough. I'm gonna switch back around, I'm gonna re-grip the same exact way we did before. So hand under the chin, I'm pulling up underneath the tricep, controlling Shane again, shooting for the guillotine. That's not working. Now I'm gonna use this shin to kick off and come back around to the front headlock. And we'll just go back and forth all day, guys, until I hit one of these submissions and get our tap. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and Vince here will get back to you. But remember, none of this stuff works if you don't practice it safely with a partner. Until next time, I'm Shane. I'm Vince. Fight tips for the underdogs.